Here we've created a few variables for a circle module, and we're just going to use this as the basis of our gear. This will be the main diameter. Okay, the gear tooth height and then the gear tooth width are going to be our primary variables for just making a really simple gear. The purpose of this is now to use a for loop to create a pattern of events. We'll use a difference command and make sure that we create a spindle hole for our circle. And I'm just going to create a spindle diameter variable and make sure I add it to my list of variables. And don't forget your brackets to close out the difference. And I've included the entire function gear body diameter just to show you that the module works. I'm going to create a secondary module for the tooth geometry and I'm going to create some parameters for the height and the width. I will use the square function and I will use the height and width just to create a simple tooth geometry. And the width is the x value, and the height should be the y, and I'm going to change my parameters to reflect that. Right here I'm going to put center equals true. I want to make sure that my tooth is split on the y-axis. And the last step is to translate the tooth above the circle, and in order to do that, I will move it up the y-axis half of the diameter of the gear. And just make sure to do that in the y direction. Now that we've created that module, let's test them together. So we'll add our tooth function, include our height and width. I'm using the variables from above. The next step is to add the circular diameter for the entirety of the gear. We can see the tooth geometry in completion. And again, enter our parameters as variables. And now we can see our entire gear minus the number of teeth being represented. In order to do that, we're going to create a for loop for this tooth that is left. So in the tooth module, just make sure that you write for and we'll use i as our variable. And you can see we wrote 0 to the number of teeth minus 1. So 0 is going to be our initial position. And if we want 20 or we want 12 teeth, we need 0 to 11. Then we're going to rotate these teeth around the z axis. And in order to do that, we multiply at times the number of degrees we're rotating over the number of teeth, the total number of teeth.